hello everyone welcome here today's video is all about 24 hours complete routine of my baby who is already three months old and i really wanted to do this video when he's a newborn because many of you can relate if you are a new mama first time mama this might really be helpful so when he was two months old he started sleeping through the night by himself uh, because we had set a good routine of a night time which i'm gonna share over here as well but anyways so sometimes still he wakes up two times in the night for a quick five minutes of feed and change otherwise he falls back sleep so easily and quick um then after 6 a.m he actually wakes up for the day around 8 30 it is the sweetest thing to get him out of the crib and he has been sleeping in the crib since day one just like nervy no judgment if you go sleep with your baby it's the, the cutest thing but it is not gonna work for us because we live in a very small apartment and we have a queen size bed and you know sleeping with a fear that you're gonna hurt the baby while in the deep sleep it's just not for me when i'm sleeping peacefully baby has to sleep peacefully too <laughs> i do the contact naps um so it's just you know kind of a balance that we have created around the house now that he is fully awake he's looking around it's time to feed him again but before that let me just snuggle a little bit I do his first diaper change around 6 a.m. feed after a good stretch night sleep. So around this time, around 8.30, he doesn't have a dirty diaper. So I feed him and I put him on the swing for a little bit so that he can look around and I can just tackle a five minute task. So generally it can be like making a breakfast or having a breakfast or pumping or I can do around this time folding laundry and all of those stuff. This is actually Nirvi's swing. It is from the brand Krako. It also had a vibrator uh, which we took out to put up the batteries and never put it back. It has volume, speed and music settings. It is a really great swing. I'll provide the link in the description box of the same and the similar in a good price. Anyways, this laundry was sitting here on sofa for two days. It's finally time to fold them <laughs> so I can sit on sofa, you know. Anyways, and we also have um, this particular pigeon which comes every single day to eat and uh, i have heard like you are not supposed to feed them but they come just so hungry and i cannot control myself anyways after just 15 minutes he's awake so he goes to uh, you know swing around 8 30 or sometimes 8 45 and wakes up around 9 uh, 25 9 30 and this is the time i take him directly for the massage and bath this time i do not feed him because i already fed him around 8 8 15 so his tummy has to be empty while i'm doing massage and i sit down with a snacks or breakfast over here so that uh, he also gets a diaper free time over here so, so i can enjoy my so snacks you're so happy you're so happy that you did poop okay so we are back for massage uh, the trick over here is to feed the baby at least 40 minutes before massage so that they have a full belly and they do not cry they still have a digested milk so while putting him down for massage i keep everything ready i use lanolin on him uh, in the diaper area so he doesn't get diaperish at all and he also get diaper free time almost like two to three hours every single as soon as I stop uh, moving my hands for like while doing massage, he starts cooing and um, getting cranky. But anyways, I have a full video on how to do newborns massage, which I had posted last week uh, only. So I'll provide the link in the description box of that. I have many more other videos related to pregnancy and postpartum and baby care tips and tricks. Do check those out as well. After massage. I give him bath and after that i feed him so i give him the d drop as well i don't know if yeah so this is the d drop uh, we have been using again i'll put the link in the description box of that as well so. 
this is how he does it i do not provide any effort in that i do not help him anything i just hold his hand so that he will support it and then he try to sit by himself <laughs> some dry skin on this patch of his forehead so i've applied lanolin and we are finally in this stage where he wants to explore his hand so he's not sucking thumb or hand because he's hungry he's doing it because he is exploring it it's so cute and he also had a really bad cradle cap if you don't know it's just the accumulation of the dry skin over here on this patch so I had applied lanolin twice uh, for like one time in a day for two days in a row and it just came out so easily after you know giving it a wash with a um, by combing it first and then giving a wash just lanolin having lanolin for everything is a game changer you can apply it on the diaper area dry skin on anywhere um, as an apple cream cradle cap all you need is lanolin. I'm done with his massage um, uh, we do tummy time for a uh, like two three minutes and then i give him bath get him ready and then i feed him but nimish was taking bath when he was supposed to so i fed him now and then i gave him bath so now he is all ready to, uh, for a nap <laughs> but i don't know how it is gonna work because he doesn't seem hungry i'm just gonna try again to feed him to uh, like nurse him to sleep so he goes down for the second nap of the day around 10 30 to 11 a.m and it is a cat nap. He just didn't take a nap of 15 to 25 minutes. That's it. Why are you not going to sleep? 15 minutes are you going to sleep? Huh? Let's go. Oh, he didn't get out of the shock. Yeah, stretch it out. Oh, okay, okay. So, Mr. is up from his nap again. He took like 20, 25 minutes of nap. And in that time, I got ready. Took shower, got ready and did puja. In getting ready, just take two minutes because I just apply oil on my face and do apply kajal and do the hairstyle. You know what I'm so happy about? In this season of life, I'm always on culture. These clips are the lifesaver for moms. He had a major hair fall, just like any other newborn go through. We are out of that phase now. To play, okay. Mommy, go to the house. I'll go to the house. Okay, 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 i this is Nirvi's play mat. It is really in a good shape. So we have been using for him as well since he was not even a month old. He loves it because there's a mirror, a few things to play. If, uh, if this area moves, this bird starts talking, making music, I mean. Um, and there is something to play with his, you know, leg and all so it's sweet i'll put the link it in is the around noon and he got little fuzzy this is the time when he wants to be held cuddled and he wants to play with me and you know how the newborns are they want their attention but this is also the time when i have to cook sometimes i'm lucky their food is prepared already we have the leftovers so it's fine but if i have to cook it is a little bit of a struggle for 15 minutes but yeah that's just the life then I again fed him and he is back to his one of the nap which is little longer than usual and this is his third nap. So he takes around 40 to 50 minutes of nap around this time and this is the time I utilize to sit quietly and eat. And it is 2 o'clock going to pick Nirbi and Tanj is wide awake. Let me show you. Can you guys see it from here? Okay. <laughs> he is all wide awake. He wakes up around 1.35 p.m. for a feed. Then he plays and go back to nap around 3 p.m. He was like wide awake for only five more minutes and then he slept. And mm -hmm. So we are home. It is 3 p.m. and around this time after coming uh, from a school pickup, he generally takes the feed and that's when we also start playing 
after a big nap of uh, you know 50 55 minutes and after napping in a stroller he's kind of wide awake and he loves to play with Nervi when she is back so that's what we are doing over here hi this one from fadak oh that's from fadak hi what are you doing are you enjoying the patterns oh you need bib okay we need bib So he was crying in the sleep and it was the cutest and I had to share it but anyways so he takes the nap uh, from 5 to 6 p.m. and then when he wakes up we try to play as much as we can again with him so he can burn out all his energy and then he goes for again a nap um, around 7.30 or um, 7.45 ish uh, so he takes a nap of only 20-25 minutes again and in that time we again try to uh, just you know play with him but before the nap i again feed him which i forgot to mention anyways after that nap it is again time for massage this is the second massage and we do it every day so he sleeps better and uh, i give him massage around 8 30 and i feed him around 7 30 or 7.45 so after giving him massage and feeding him I put him in the crib for a nap of an hour or so I don't know why do I even try because he doesn't like to nap um, in the crib around this time he either likes to be held or he likes to be in the swing for an hour or so so he was with Mimish and by this time I'm just done I do not entertain so him. so after one and a half hour of a nap he comes to me again for a feed and this is the time when I give him a change again so that he can sleep peacefully for four to five and sometimes even six hours of a stretch but still there are some nights when he wakes up for quick five to ten minutes of feed sometimes I change him sometimes he is awake for an hour or so as well but at that time I just turn on the mobile which is on his crib and he has to entertain himself i do not do that because we are just building that you know good night habit so that he has to entertain himself if he is awake otherwise he has to sleep and this is how the days slips from my hand so so easily and quickly i hope you enjoyed this video be sure to share it with your new mom friends and first time moms this is gonna be really helpful for them be sure to also give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, I am Pragya. I'm a mom of two kids. If you like these kind of video, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.